Hi everyone. This is a product review. This is on a Sephora Disney Ariel Part of Your World quad. And I got this obviously at Sephora and it was $30. So it was kind of pricey for a quad, but look at the packaging. It's um it's a makeup item and it's also a collector item. If you can't see there are shells around the whole perimeter of the box. There are shells. There's Ariel right there. There's a shell behind her, a big clam shell. It says Ariel with the kind of rainbow sunset behind it. And there's Sebastian right there. And there's just a lot of really beautiful art going on and this is the the edges of the the box they look like a book and here is the back a part of your world and it has who's it what's it dinglehopper and snarf flat and there's the barcode it looks like ariel's castle so there you go, I went over the box. Really pretty. So again, you can get this at Sephora or on, or um, sorry, you can get this on Sephora.com for $30. Here's what the quad looks like out of the box. It has shells, silver shells going around, um, sorry, chrome shells going around the whole border. There's Ariel sitting on a rock in the middle of the ocean there are clouds going and there are clouds behind her and a full moon and she's looking up at the moon so you can just see her silhouette and there is a really beautiful a right there for ariel so that's really beautiful and it just says a part of your world eyeshadow palette there are, the net weight is four eyeshadows at, um, oh, all together I think it's 1.4 grams. I don't know. Anyways, let's just open it up. So when you first open it, right away you see the mirror. The mirror says, you can't see it, you just see me in the reflection. But... It says dreams are realities in waiting and the mirror is really big and it's really clear it's really nice here are the colors there is a shimmery white a purplish um, a purplish gray I've heard people say it's um, kind of I don't know what they called it but I don't think it's exactly that color in my opinion I think it's kind of gray purple so that's um, that one's a matte. This one's a shimmer. This one is a green shimmer, but when you put it on, it's more of a turquoise. And this is a purple with glitter in it. Blue and purple glitters. As you can see, I'm almost done with these ones because I use these for the base and then I put the other on top sorry I'm trying to do the swatch I really like all the colors okay I'm zooming in right now on the um, this is the white base highlighter kind of color. You can also use it all over the lid, but I like to use it for base or highlighting. It's white with shimmer. It's kind of like a pearly white. Here, you can't see it, but this is the gray purple color. This is the green. Oh my gosh, look at that green. It's gorgeous. I told you it's not green. It's a shimmery mermaid tail kind of turquoise, like a blue green. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. I think that one and the purple are my favorite. The only problem I have with the purple with the blue and um, green shimmer is that it's very, very ashy. You can see that it has a lot of fallout. So all of these eyeshadows are excellent, excellent quality, except for the purple. The purple, ooh, look at this. The purple is just very ashy. There's a lot of fallout with the purple. So yeah, but I am really enjoying this. I don't use this for every day. I use this on special occasions. So I found that it is really lasting me a long time. So I do think this is worth the value, especially if you want to keep this after. I think this is a great value. I do recommend this. And I'm kind of tight, like when it comes to money, it's really hard for me to spend money on things. But I, th I actually think this is a good value. It took me a long time to reach the pan and the eyeshadow. Um, took me a long time to hit pan. So I think it's a good value and it's very beautiful. And unlike the story book or the story look, you can keep this. It's not like cardboard. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Take care.